So today we're going to be automating the boring repetitive stuff with Vim macros. And what's cool about the Vim macros is that they actually require kind of like no overhead to set up, no prior scripting, no crazy syntax to memorize. So it's actually pretty simple to get into. I'll show a little example to walk through how this works. Now let's say I got a long map here and I want to switch the keys and values for whatever reason. So I'm going to press Q. I'm going to press the registry that I want to put this recording into, which I'm going to select the A registry. You're going to notice a little recording thing pop up in the bottom command line. And now it's going to start recording whatever my cursor does. So I'm just going to jump over to here. I'm going to VI quotes. I'm going to yank this. I'll walk back here. I'll VI quotes again. I'll paste that in. I'll walk up VI quotes, paste what I just did, go to the beginning of the line, drop down one. Now dropping down one is important when you're doing multi-line macros. And now I want to, now I just kind of want to stop the recording right where I'm at. So I'm going to press Q. The recording is going to stop now. Now that recording is inside the little recording registry. And all I need to do to activate it is I can press the at symbol and then A again. And you'll notice that it just switched the keys and values for that line right there. Now, if I wanted to continue this for the entire map here in an automated, super smooth way, I'll do this for the next 17 lines. I'll do at A and you'll see all the keys have been switched with all the values. Now, the thing about Vim macros is that because it's just recording your cursor's movement, you're only sort of limited by your creativity. Although there are a few limitations I found when using Vim macros, like for example, if I wanted to record maybe using one of my key bindings that activates one of my plugins, sometimes I have trouble with that. So there are some slight limitations, but when it comes to automating the annoying repetitive stuff, Vim macros is going to be where it's at.